So recently, the lovely people at GetBenQ gifted me a nice desktop lamp and they wanted me to do a review video about it on my channel. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you my home office setup that I have that allows me to create my medical illustration and animation work. So let's get started with the office tour. Hello, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you can all agree that it's been kind of a crazy year for everyone. And like most companies, we moved the majority of our team to go work from home so that they can work remotely. And with that, we moved all of our equipment, our workstations, desks and computers, everything um, to each other's houses. But I think what's great about being a medical illustrator is that as long as you have access to your computer and access to the internet, we, we can virtually work almost anywhere. So predominantly, I work with 2D medical illustrations, 3D assets as well, so, and we also do 3D animations. So our workstations are built to support those kind of projects. So first things first, I have this custom built PC behind me here and we built it with PC specialists. Now, the way that we kind of put together a spec list was that we looked at forums and articles really all about how to build a custom PC for 3D rendering. The reason for this is that we do a lot of 3D rendering, but we also work with a lot of 4K video footage and the specs with that really helps us handle these high resolution files. So um, this one is a couple of years old now, so I'm sure that the specs are completely different and much better. The next things that I have are these two BenQ monitors. I really like working on a dual monitor screen so that I can have my work in front of me and then have references or notes on the other screen and really just opens up the space and helps me work more efficiently and effectively. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! <laughs> Stop it! Now, BenQ don't know that I buy their monitors, so this part isn't sponsored by them. I just really like BenQ monitors. They've lasted me for a, a long, long time. I think the ones behind me I've had for about five years now, and they're really good. They've moved to about three different offices and now back to my home office. So we tend to buy BenQ monitors for all of our artists in our studio. The next thing that I like to use for digital drawing is um, a Wacom tablet. So this is the one that I use now, is a Wacom Intuos Pro. It's a medium sized one. I think it's large enough for me to kind of move my whole arm around it, but not so large that it kind of overtakes my desk space back there. And also, um, what I really like about this model is that the wire comes off, so you can have it as a wireless, but I tend to keep it plugged in because I always forget to charge it if I take it off. Now, the next thing that I really like in my home office, and I feel like it's something that you really should invest in, are ergonomics. And it's investing in really good um, seating and a uh, really good table at the right height, and also any kind of like footstools or back guards or even a wrist guard. So one thing that I have invested in is, and it's a really super cheap thing that I bought off Amazon, is a wrist guard that has like a metal insert. So it helps kind of give my wrist some support and I can uh, click away at the uh, computer um, without feeling any like nerve inflammation or anything like that in my arm. So yeah, this is a super cool sexy part of my workspace. In my chair, I have some armrests as well uh, because surprisingly enough, uh, you can get like tennis elbow just from not really supporting your arms, especially when you're drawing at a computer and you're lifting your arm like that. So speaking of making your office look really nice, um, I think lighting is really, really important. I don't like to have overhead fluorescent lighting. And I think in one of in a first office that we were at, we had these automated lights that would just turn on. It was motion censored and we had no control over anything. And it was a bit frustrating because it caused a lot of glare on our screens. But thankfully I bought monitors that have a matte finish, so the glare wasn't that bad. Um, but still, it was a bit frustrating when you can't control the lighting in your environment. So right now what I have in my home office setup is that I have a lot of like desk lamps and standing lamps and I just kind of turn them on and off just depending on the time of day that it is. Um, so it gives me a lot of control and flexibility. So what I really like about this BenQ desk lamp was that you can change the temperature of the light. And I thought that was absolutely fantastic. And also you can change the brightness of the light as well. When I first got it, I was thinking to myself, I'm not really gonna use these functions. That's kind of a bit silly, but it actually came in super handy because I was doing a 
presentation for the University of Dundee, and I was able to kind of control my lighting setup for that presentation so that my face didn't look so blown out when I was using Zoom. So that was a nice surprise with a smart lamp like that. It was pretty simple to set up, it was really nice, it was pretty easy. Um, the lamp is pretty heavy, but the design is sleek and I kind of like it and it's got enough of a base that I can put stuff on it and so it feels like it doesn't take up too much space in my desk. If you want an attachment so that it uh, attaches onto the side of your desk, you can invest in that, but that's sold as a separate item. And at first I wondered, why didn't they just include it in the box? But then I thought, oh, that's kind of smart, BenQ. You're not making things and wasting stuff for the sake of someone maybe wanting it. So I thought, oh, pretty, pretty good. Anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed a little peek into my home office setup for um, a medical illustrator and animator. Comment below if you have any questions or if you like me to do any more videos such as things about the software that I use. There's also other equipment that I have as well that um, I haven't covered. I have, I use my iPad and Procreate all the time as well. And also if you're interested in buying any of the equipment that uh, I use, especially with um, things like Black Friday coming up and there's a lot of discounts during the winter season, um, it now could be a good time to start looking into that. I'm going to put Amazon affiliate links down below in the description. Now these are at no extra cost to you, but it does give me a little bit of a commission so that I can continue working and creating these videos for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon below so you don't miss other videos like this. If you have suggestions for future videos, definitely comment below or send me an email or a DM, DM on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback. And thanks so much for watching everyone.